Hey guys, welcome to game three between Dentarg and Exit. I double checked it, it is not best of seven in the round of four, it is best of five in the round of four for Chova League. So, Dentarg is, let's see what the colors are. I'll keep it red and blue. This is on Polypoid, by the way. Everybody's favorite map. Bottom right hand corner, we have Dentarg starting as the red Protoss. Upper left hand corner, we have Exit as the blue Terran. And Exit on the verge of a finals. If you can win this game. Dentarg on the edge of elimination. And I wonder if we're going to see more of the same. It seems like Dentarg has done a lot of things in both of these matches where I felt like they were, especially last game, I'm like, he is so far ahead that I think he's going to pull this match out. But Exit, keeping on top of Macro and just doing little Vulture drops here, pressing in, wiping out armies, keeping up with his upgrades, doing the things and really having that wonderful attack at the 9 o'clock base. That's one problem with having Proxy is that technically a proxy nexus? I guess it's more like just a hidden cheesy nexus, right? Having those nex nexi, nexus, exposed in corner positions is things can wander in and take them out, and it's harder to reinforce and defend them, particularly when you're behind in upgrades. I do feel like there was a moment for Dentarg if he had 12 gateways or if he had the 8 gateways with um, Arbiters underneath or if he had High Templar and Size Storm or things like that to, to work with the large economy that he had. I think he would have just had too much momentum and rolled over exit as far as a follow-up, but Exit, instead, finding the holes in the defense, keeping up with just pure macro and having a, I got to say, really nice defense against that early Bulldog pressure and taking the match as a result. And I would not be shocked at all, especially seeing game one and game two for Exit to get a berth into the finals. Initial Marine being produced, SCV starting to scout. Is it going to be a cross position scout? We'll see. Any initial result from Dentarg, it looks like he is going to wait for that cybernetic score. And just get those three probes in gas, which is typical because he lack of scouting information. No scout yet for Dentarg, interestingly enough. Keeping probes in, I'm wondering if that is intentional. And we are seeing a cross-positional scout for Exit, so Exit is going to, in fact, end up with potential early scouting information. This is, yeah, lucky, lucky. For exit so cross map scout finds his opponent's base immediately which is huge so cybernetic score warping in as if he needs to get out of there before <laughs> before he gets boxed in in that corner range is upgrading and we are seeing wow exit wants to end this now three SEVs. Sorry, three Marines, six SCVs, and a seventh inside the base waiting. This is a long distance to cover. It's just going to be pure Marines running in to go ahead and win this. And is Dentarg going to be able to react is the next question. SCV couched in the corner. That's the initial Dragoon pulling out. Probes are going to have to pull off the line to try to defend this. Probe Scout now moving out. Just in time to see the SEVs flooding in. This has got to be immediately needs to plop down a second gateway or a shield battery or something and pull, and pull the probes off the line. Probes. Battle probes versus battle SEVs. The Marines lagging as far as the engagement point. Now the Marines engaging. They're trying to float to the north. No bunker as of yet. A lot of the SEVs getting wiped out. Two Dragoons are now out. That plus probes and exit flubbing it. Too much distance between the SCVs and the Marines. And Dentarg doing a great job microwing, wiping out all of those SCVs, plus the Dragoons. Pulling out an absolute disaster. So, Exit loses the match. Dentarg keeps his final hopes alive. Quick one. We'll move on to Game 4. Thanks for listening.